Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Mantis X dry fire system. Or not dry fire, it's all fire. It's a firearm training system. It works with dry fire and live fire. It's a pretty neat little Picatinny attachment that goes onto your firearm and it allows you to basically monitor your shooting and hopefully make improvements. Now I've had some pretty good results with this thing so far in dry fire testing. I'm heading to the range this weekend for live fire and we're going to see. We're going to do one video today on the initial uh, thoughts and dry fire. We're going to do a video over the weekend on live fire and then in maybe like a month we'll do an update and see if my shooting's improved. So I've installed this. It's just a very simple Picatinny installation and then the program is very easy as well. You literally just turn on your Bluetooth on your phone, open up the program, it pairs together. It's really very, very simple and it walks you through the whole thing. It's really quite easy. And uh, so what we've done here is we've actually been uh, messing around with it a little bit. So what we're going to do is reset so you can kind of see these. And I have this hooked up onto the uh, P95, which I've already safety checked, but we're going to do it again on camera just out of uh, good habit. So we have nothing in the chamber. No magazine at all, which is why I picked this firearm, because I can do that, because it is the uh, double single. So we got this thing on. Also to mention, it's got a USB charging point. And we'll look real quick. I'll show you these uh, settings. Um, it has uh, a forward mount and rear mount option, so if this thing doesn't fit on your rifle, or rifle, <laughs> pistol, you can reverse it. The uh, forward means the USB is in the back. You have a dry fire versus live fire setting, which of course sets the uh, sensitivity, and you can do left-handed and right-handed shooters, which is awesome. We're gonna go back to the whole train thing, and uh, we're gonna go. And one of the things to mention, guys, the dry fire is not 100%. In order to stop this from having false positives every time you rack the slide, they had to kind of change the sensitivity. So you're gonna miss a couple, and you're gonna see it as we go along. You're gonna miss you know, maybe two out of 10 that just aren't gonna show up. But the idea being, you're not getting any good information from a slide rack. So it's better to miss a couple than to have bad information from things like racking the slide or, or pulling back the hammer, anything like that that may happen with your firearm. So I did wanna note that. And plus the other thing to note too, <clears throat> being this thing, the algorithms are all controlled via this app. You know, the data is sent to your phone they can continually update this product as it go along. So if they're having issues with certain things, they can adjust, they can adjust their algorithms. And this is a product that's gonna grow over time and just get better through the software updates, which is kind of awesome. How this thing works, I don't know, but uh, I'm sure there's some kind of sensors, maybe even gyroscopes in there that uh, basically sense how and what direction the firearm, or at least this uh, addition is moving when the trigger at the time that the firing pin is uh, released. So it's a really cool kind of thing. And I found it to be pretty accurate. Me as a shooter, I know that I tend to always shoot right. And over the years, I've messed with different grips, sight pictures, all that, even just adjusted some of my firearms. But this very quickly kind of showed me that some of the problems are in my grip. They're not my sight picture. They're not uh, <clears throat> due to the firearms. This is already in... Uh, it, it, it matches up with what I've been seeing on paper over, over many, many years. So I thought that was cool right off the bat. Knowing I always shoot to the right. And then for the most part, my uh, my shots tend to hang to the right mostly. Now you're going to get a bit of a scatter in this, but that's just normal. you know. But the idea is that you can look at the aggregate data and see what are the patterns. What are you doing the most? What are you doing the worst? And all that. And the cool thing is it even scores your shots so you know how still your hand was. So, we're just gonna check that one more time. And mind you, this is a safe direction. <clears throat> when you're dry fire training, I'm not a fan of doing it in uh, unsafe directions. So, these are actually pointing into the backyard, so there are no people, no other bedrooms, nothing like that to uh, worry about, should there be an accident. Of course, there's no uh, live ammo in this room, or actually even on this floor of this house. So, uh, what we're doing here is uh, safe. So it is very important that you kind of follow those guidelines and make sure you're doing this safe because last thing you need is an accident while you're training. So, all right, we got this in single action mode. It seems to react better to single than double. I'm not sure, maybe the double is just too much movement. So what we're gonna do, we'll back up so we're on frame here a little bit. We're gonna do a really nice trigger pull. 
I'm going to try and make it a very good trigger pull and uh, what I would do if I was really shooting for accuracy. All right, let's start the thing. <laughs> uh, that's fun. All right, so we're going to try that again. And that was probably a false positive when I pulled the hammer back there, so we'll just reset that. All right. All right. As I mentioned before, I tend to shoot to the right on paper. What happened, but we literally just have one go to the right. And the score is 91.9 which is a good score. Getting anything above 95 is actually pretty difficult. And see, I'm on a table here, I'm actually a little bit braced. So we're gonna do probably five of these. Oh, and see, another false positive when the hammer came back. That doesn't happen if you're using a striker fire gun, but for some reason with this gun, it seems to happen. But you notice that score is 42. All right, we got a 93.5 once again to the right. Okay, a 71.6 to the right. <laughs> and the cool thing is, is you, as you're going, you can actually check. And that will tell you what you're doing. And it says two little trigger finger. So that's kind of cool. So we're going to... Actually, we'll keep firing exactly how we were. That one didn't. Oops. When you go, that's one thing, guys. That throws me for a loop every time. If you go in and check something, you do have to start it again when you come back. So we'll reset it. Okay, that one's a great shot. 96. Once again, to the right, 86. You know, obviously I moved a little more with that one. That one was a uh, didn't register. Every once in a while, guys, you'll get like four or five of them that will uh, bunch up together, you know, and just like catches up on it. There's a 90. You can see, guys, the pattern's already showing. Everything's going to the right, which is what I do. I oh, there was a false positive, probably when I pulled the hammer back. It does tend to do this with this firearm. Six, once again to the right, 92. They're good shots, but obviously I'm moving the gun to the right a little bit as I pull the trigger. Now I am braced on this table a little bit, so the scores are actually a little higher than what I usually get. Hmm, a couple there, like I said, they happen. Seven, okay, 95.9. So now what we're gonna do, is we're going to kind of hold this up off the table and uh, fire it one-handed and we'll reset it. And we're just going to kind of pull the trigger hard and fast. Not really uh, taking care to pull it easily. That one didn't go. Okay, score 90. 74. Notice the score. 48, 67, 59, notice they're going all over, they're not as, 68, they're not all bunched to the right, why not? Obviously whatever it is I do with a good grip, 38, scores are really low when you slap that trigger. And if you probably would look, I bet you this is slapping the trigger. Too much trigger finger. What's this one? Breaking wrist up. Things you commonly do when you're not aiming. So we're going to reset. Okay, now we're going to hold the gun up off the table and do a uh, very controlled and we're going to make some adjustments to my grip and see if we can get some great shots. 97.5 Once again, just a simple adjustment to my grip giving a little more trigger finger as to what that recommendation said. Now I'm getting 
very consistent. Look at that, one after another, just by changing my grip and changing what I'm doing. Okay, 76, that one wasn't good. Now what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna go back to what we're doing with a very edge of the trigger finger on here. See what happens. Healing. You notice those scores, look at those scores. Look at the difference in the scores. Okay, now what we're gonna do guys, now that we've messed around with that a little bit, we're gonna try a super, super tight grip. So I'm gonna just squeeze a snot out of this thing and uh, pull the trigger. I mean, I'm just gonna, hard as I can. Oh, forgot to start it, my bad. Notice the lower score from the tighter grip. Just a tighter grip. Affects that score quite a bit, 70s. Now I'm gonna go back one more time to doing perfect form. Well, not perfect, I'm not perfect, guys. Really, really good looking, but not perfect. Notice, score 93. 89, ooh. Probably getting a little fatigue. Yeah, I think a little fatigue setting in. <laughs> You, know, you can tell, you can see from my hands, guys, I was obviously squeezing really, really hard uh, during that one. So what we're going to do now, because I guess my hand is a little tired, we're going to uh, do a couple, uh, of course, we're doing this on the rickety table. We're going to do a couple brace shots right against up against the table and see if we can get some good scores again. Oh, look at that. 98. 99, <laughs> and that's just from bracing it on the table. 97. All right, so we've proved a point here, guys. This thing really does work. It's not just throwing out random numbers. It's not just throwing out random advice. This thing is actually accurate. And that was one of my big fears about this was, is this thing gonna have any sense of accuracy whatsoever? And it does, it really does. And the different tests you've seen here, Obviously, if I adjust my grip, things change. If I do a good job, things change. If I change things up, I can actually change the results based on my grip and how I do things. How, you know, pulling the trigger with a double action, you know, gives you a low score. Even though I took my time and I'm really kind of being careful, much higher score, but go back to that double action pull, You know, your scores are pretty low with the double action. It's a lot more pull. It's a lot more uh, weight. So this thing is really cool, guys. I have a lot of faith this thing is going to be really, really good when it comes to live fire testing, just from this dry fire. <clears throat> I've been doing this for, you know, quite a few hundreds of shots, guys, and uh, it really does and is accurate. And this is probably the worst gun for it because it does have that really heavy hammer to it. And you do get those uh, false positives sometimes on the uh, pulling the hammer back. But, you know, as you can see, it's, it's accurate. And not only is it accurate, but there's a big difference. Putting the gun on a table, your scores are going to be 97, 98, versus just kind of resting your arm on the table, you're going to get those 90s and uh, 80s kind of free holding it. It's, just, it's, it's really cool. And I can literally watch 
live as I make adjustments to my grip and see what it does to my firing position. That is just really super cool to me and I am just super excited to try this thing out at the range. So you're going to see a video, like I said, uh, hopefully within the week about live fire and hopefully uh, the idea being is that the targets will match up with what this thing shows on the live fire. And then, of course, we'll do an update and see if this has improved my shooting. And what we'll do is we're actually going to go in, guys, and I'll do a target before, and then a target using this, and then we'll hold them up a month later and see if there's uh, any improvement. So we'll see, guys. I'm, I'm really super excited, and I think uh, this has got a lot of potential to be a really great training device.